Hey everyone, Live It Like Lisa here. In today's Trash to Treasure video, I'm going to show you how I flip some tired looking decor pieces into these fabulous farmhouse finds. So you came here for a DIY video, I'm going to stop yapping now and let's just jump straight in. So the first two we're going to start on is this cute little bathtub and farmer's market tin. So here's the bathtub as I bought it from the thrift store and for all the pieces in this video we're going to start by giving them a good coat of white chalk paint. I think I ended up giving each piece between two and three coats uh, before I was happy with the coverage. If you've been watching my videos for a little while you know I make my own chalk paint using regular wall paint and plaster of Paris and I can leave a link to a video showing you the recipe of that chalk paint up above uh, this screen now. So this tin box I picked up from Kmart a little while ago and it was one of those impulse purchases. I just bought it because it looked farmhouse but I just don't really have a use for it in my house so I'm going to give it a bit of a farmhouse makeover today and hopefully resell it. With the bathtub, now that the chalk paint has fully dried, I'm just going over it with some fine sandpaper just to smooth out the brush strokes and any rough patches on the bath and also give it a light distressing as well just to bring off some of that paint to highlight some areas. But we will be painting over some of these areas again anyway. So my original idea was to paint the claw feet in black but as I put the black on it just really looked way too harsh so I end up going over this with a bit of white to tone it down and bring it more of a muted grey kind of colour with a little bit of the black just as an undertone and a bit of a highlight but yeah it just was a little bit too harsh for my liking for, for the look that I was going for. I also just went around the edges of the bath with a bit of black as well just to try and make it look like a bit of that enamel had worn off and also just to highlight some of those flowers on the side of the bath and then I did go back in with a lighter uh, stone colour as you can see here just to tone down those feet a little bit and then again I went over the flowers with a lighter colour. I think I went over it with a bit of a grey just to bring out the highlight of the flowers but just not to make it look so harsh and in your face basically. Again with the tin I'm going over it with some sandpaper to lightly distress it and clean up some of those edges and then using my silhouette I cut out this image uh, that I downloaded from an Etsy shop I believe and we're just going to stick that onto the side of the box. So here are the first two Trash to Treasure makeovers and pretty happy with the way these guys have turned out. I, yeah, really like them. The bathtub I am definitely going to be keeping. Uh, that was part of, that was going to be part of my bathroom decor. And the farmer's market tin, hopefully I will be reselling that shortly. So now let's get started with the next two projects. We have this cute little market fresh crate and this beautiful family sign. So this next item is just a little bamboo tray that I picked up from Kmart. I was originally using this in my laundry under the drink dispensers and that's the drink dispensers is what I had my laundry detergent and fabric softener in but I've changed my whole setup in the laundry now so I'm no longer using that so uh, I no longer really have any use for this tray. So. Uh, we're going to give it a little bit of a makeover and to start the makeover off we are going to be surprise surprise covering it in a couple of coats of white chalk paint. <laughs> and while we've got the chalk paint out we may as well give a couple of coats to this little crate that I picked up from the thrift store. Uh, I can't remember how long ago I picked this up but I have, it ha I have had it in my stash for a little while and I've just never used it. Uh, so yeah, I think it's just time to give it a makeover and let it go. So 
So once the chalk paint has dried completely, I am now going over and distressing both of these pieces. I'm not sure what happened to the footage of me distressing the little tray, but yeah, just know that I just distressed the little tray very lightly just around the edges and I gave this one a little bit more of a harsher distressing so we wanted quite a bit of that paint to chip off and make it look like an old crate. Back to the little tray you can see here how I've given it a light distressing. What I'm doing now is going over the bottom of the tray with some PVA wood glue or Mod Podge you can use. This I'm just trying out for the first time. I've seen it done so I'm just going to see if it works for me because we're going to be putting a um, vinyl decal on the bottom of this tray. So I've heard that if you put some Mod Podge or glue down first it helps the vinyl stick a lot better to the tray so obviously we're going to let this dry and then we're going to put the vinyl on top. So this vinyl decal I just cut out using my little Cricut Joy and we're just going to stick it on to the tray. Now in all honesty I didn't really think that the putting the glue down or the Mod Podge down first made much of a difference from what I could I mean just from my experience it still sort of took the same amount of effort or time to stick. Um, some pieces just weren't sticking the same uh, as it would if you didn't put the glue down. So I don't know, I don't, maybe it'll make the decal last longer, like in the long run, I don't know. But for me personally, I didn't really notice much of a difference as far as transferring the image onto the tray. Uh, so yeah, that's just my opinion. And then I finish the tray off with another layer of Mod Podge on top. And to finish the crate off, again, I just used my little Cricut Joy to uh, cut out some letters, the Market Fresh Produce, and we're just going to stick this on the side of the crate. And again, I went over this with a layer of uh, PVA glue just to help protect it and seal it in. So these are the next two items made over really happy with the way these turned out I love this tray now I'm so tempted to keep it but I just don't have any spot for it in my house and at the end of the day if I do decided I want to keep it I can always recreate this it's super easy just using even a piece of wood you could just create this so yeah uh, these two hopefully are going to be resold and found a new home but yeah how cute does this look it looks like a proper little vintage crate I love it so let's get started with the next two projects so we have a little French country style tub and some vintage sugar pourers so guess what we're going to do first guys <laughs> two to three coats of chalk paint on every item I won't torture you by continuing to sing so here's a little background music <laughs> So for the tub we are now going to distress it and just smooth out some of the paint finish on it. So you can see there there are a few sort of chunks of chalk paint so we're going to smooth those out and at the same time just put a bit of distressing on the raised edges where it would naturally wear. So for the decal on this tub, I went to a website called graphicsfairy.com and they have a range of images and labels and different pictures that you can download. I've printed off this label here, which is like a French country type label, and I've printed it on some tissue paper. So the way you do this is you get a regular sheet of normal printer paper, you tape your tissue paper to the top edge of your printer paper so that it's not going to move or jam and then you feed your printer paper through your printer as per normal and print off your image and obviously I'm using an inkjet printer so you need to allow a few minutes for the ink to completely dry on the tissue paper. Then you just tear around the image so that you've got a bit of a jagged edge or you can cut around, it doesn't really matter. The tissue paper's that thin, the edges are gonna be 
more or less invisible anyway and we're going to glue this image onto our project using some either PVA glue or Mod Podge and what I like to do for this is to actually put the glue onto the item first and then we're going to lay the tissue paper on top. So you line up your image and sort of get it on in the middle first um, and then smooth out from the middle to the outsides. Now you don't need to worry too much if you get wrinkles because these will smooth out anyway. Uh, so use your brush with a little bit more Mod Podge or glue on it to very, very gently just pat the um, image onto your item. So yeah, just if you're going to be brushing it, use very, very light brush strokes and make sure your brush stays fairly wet so that you don't tear your sheet. I like to use a bit more of a dabbing type motion to make sure my paper is sticking and yeah just go very very gently and as that paper dries it will smooth out I mean for this project anyway I didn't mind that it did have wrinkles because we want that vintage style look but yeah to, to get a more smooth or even finish uh, you want to sort of pat from the middle and move your way outwards and then we're going to let this dry and then we're going to be doing a little bit of sanding and a little bit of dry brushing on top so again, now that the glue has all dried, I'm going in with a very fine sandpaper and just giving it a good sand over the top to not only remove a few of those edges around the tissue paper, but also just to smooth out the finish of the label and distress it a little bit as well. And the last step to make it all blend in seamlessly and make it look like it's been there forever is you want to take some more white chalk paint and very, very lightly just brush over the whole image, especially in amongst all the white spaces of your label with the same color chalk paint that you painted your item with. And this will just blend it all in and make it look like that label's been painted on and has been there forever. And back to these guys. I almost forgot about these. So all I am doing with these is just distressing them a little bit with some sandpaper. I just think, you know, they've been painted white and a little bit of distressing will just bring them into that vintagey feel. <laughs> so yeah, this was super easy. Just a bit of distressing with some sandpaper. And here's the final two items all complete. I really love this French country tub. Oh, I'm so tempted to keep it, but no, it's got to go. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can see now the label, It you know, you can't really see that it doesn't belong there. I'm just really happy with that finish. I love, love, love it. And the, the sugar pourers, very, very easy, very simple makeover. So those are my first four projects done. I've got heaps more of these coming up, guys. So if you enjoy these types of videos, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss all the new videos coming up. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.